Once again, I am so excited to be with you today as we continue in the series, Kids Taking Authority. Today's lesson will be about taking authority over temptation. Let us pray. Lord, we are ever so grateful to you and for you giving your life on the cross. May our word today bring conviction to all those that hear it. May we seek to take authority in every area of our lives as we grow in the faith. We humble ourselves before you as we ask these of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. have your Bibles, turn with me to Luke chapter 4, reading verses 1 through 4. And I will be reading from the King James Version. And it says, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone, that it might be made bread. And he answered him, saying, It is written, That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Have you ever been on a trip? Well, yes, I have. And some of the things that I took with me were food, clothes, shoes, electronics, family, and even friends. But in our lesson today, Jesus went on a trip. And guess what? He took neither of these things with him. As a matter of fact, only God was with him. Come and see the temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey, if you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No, the word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. 
And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says, you must not test the Lord your God. No. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. So Jesus, after being baptized, by his cousin John went on a trip in the wilderness. While he was in the wilderness, he was tested. And these tests prove what was truly in his heart. What a wonderful Bible story. It never gets old. I enjoy watching it every single time. You know, the Holy Spirit will never ever lead you to a place of failure. The Bible says if we resist the devil, he will flee from us. And guess what? Because the word of God was already in Jesus' heart, he was able to resist the devil with the word of God. The devil recognized the authority that God stood on and he had no other choice but to leave. James chapter four in the Bible verses seven to eight says, submit yourselves unto God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Most of all, Jesus got 100% on his test, Jesus rose with authority and went to do miracles and teach people about the good news of the gospel. Jesus took his authority and guess what? So can you. If this message has touched your heart and you are thinking, I want to be a part of of the family of God by accepting Jesus Christ into my heart. Repeat the words of this prayer with me. Dear God, I want to be a part of your family. You said in your word that if I acknowledge that you raised Jesus from the dead and that I accept him as my Lord and Savior, I would be saved. So God, I now say that I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead and that he is alive and well. I accept him now as my personal Lord and Savior. I accept my salvation from sin right now. Forgive me of my sins. I am now saved. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Savior. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me, saving me, and giving me eternal life with you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said this prayer and believed it in your heart, I want to welcome you to the family of God. Remember, we're not just having church, we're having children's church. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will go in God's word. Until next time, goodbye.
Search for him, he rewards me. 